right, howdy everyone, good morning. I did not expect to have a video today for you, but I just caught a really nice bass and I just wanted to share it. This one's gonna be short and sweet, uh, so I hope you enjoy. Here's a quick fish finder rig tutorial. For a fish finder rig, you'll need a barrel swivel, 30 to 50 pound leader line, heavier leader, especially when fishing for bluefish, a slider, a sinker, and an inline circle hook as it's a regulation in New Jersey. Usually for clam, I'll use anywhere from a 6.0 to an 8.0 hook, and for bunker, 8.0 to 10.0. First, you'll need to snell your circle hook. There are many snelling tutorials on YouTube already, and you can buy hooks pre-snelled at your local tackle shop. Then, tie your leader line to one end of the barrel swivel. A shorter leader is preferred for better castability and less tangling when your bait is sitting in the surf. Usually, I like to use a foot of leader max. Take your slider and slide it onto the main braided line. Then you'll tie the braid to the other end of the swivel. Add the weight needed to hold bottom off the surf and you're ready to go. The way this rig works is when the fish takes the bait and your drag is loose, the line will slide through the slider held down by the weight, allowing the fish to swim with the bait without detecting resistance. Remember, you don't set a circle hook like you normally would. Simply tighten your drag and start reeling. Now let's get back to the video. So in this round we rigged up the clam and we're gonna toss that out there. Good fish. It's a real good fish. Can't lose this thing. It's heavy. Oh, I'm way out there. Oh my gosh. I thought I was in close. Oh, I have a lot more reeling to do. down the beach. I think we're getting here. We're getting there. <sighs> yep, right in there. It's right in the wash. Nice bass. It's a 
big guy. Holy smokes. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was clearly not thinking here. I dropped my rod into the sand trying to unhook this fish and the reel is definitely taking a beating from it. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that up. Oh my God, this is big. So truthfully, I wasn't too happy with this release. As I was reviving it in the water, I got hit by a wave and I lost grip on the fish, but it did swim off. I made sure to get a quick release and learned for next time that I should have gone deeper into the trough to release it. So after that big fish, I just wanted to throw in some bonus footage of me catching the world's smallest striper when I was trying to go for fluke. Check it out. So while I'm waiting for a bite on these other two rods, I'm gonna try fluking now that the season's open. I'll show this rig in another video, uh, but right now I'm using kind of this dropper rig. Got a three quarter ounce weight on the bottom. Goes up to a dropper loop with a pink shine gulp and a, I believe 3.0 bait holder hook, then up to a swivel. And this just kind of drags along the bottom. You just reel it in and the tension is, uh, kind of helps detect that bite a little better. So let's cast around, see if we can get a fluke. This is this thing that was jumping around, I think. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's the tiniest strike forever. Wow. Look at that little thing. World's smallest striper. Right there. Let's get this bad boy back. So that was a super great weekend of fishing. Uh, I was fortunate enough to see a lot of success and I'm hoping that the month of May really provides great fishing uh, every time I get out there. So fingers crossed. I hope you learned something new today and I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one.